Alright, hello everyone, uh, this is Santa's channel, and welcome back to my videos, and if you guys are not, uh, this is a videos, I do videos about 7 nights, and this one I'm going to do a tower for 126, so I know they did an update to 100, let's see, 150 I believe, yeah, but, um, and I know, I see some people already, you know, went up to 131, which is, you know, incredible, but, uh, I'm stuck at a place where most people seems like they're stuck at as well, uh, 126. I just hit the 99 um, try where the monsters are at the weakest form, so I decided to give it a try. And my team is basically same. I'm taking Lee as my friend, like always. And let's give it a try. So, um, pretty much uh, the... What is it? Um strategy is pretty much same use the Lee and you know make their life into one and then um, you know kill them with one of the skill or anything now this Kwanu right here uh, what he does is uh, he uh, cast this kind of like a buff in a way where everyone in the team gets uh, immune to any kind of like a hit or anything for just you know one turn so it's just really annoying so it's gonna take a while i don't really have a time to you know like remove the buff and things like that and you guys can see that my jave is already dying really fast even though he's you know level 44 you know plus five so you guys can see that how strong these guys are so you know my guys like just melt uh, from this guys um so that's one of the reason why i usually take tanks with lee uh, so that at least I can last a little bit longer. Now his skill also uh, reduces the buff, which is just kind of annoying. Uh, basically, like I said though, uh, it's just constantly removing buff. Uh, I just use the Evans uh, skill to kind of taunt them. So instead of hitting someone else, uh, hopefully they hit the um, Evan. My... Jave and Spike seems like it's going to die very soon, uh, even though it's the uh, very first round. But I just need Lee, so hopefully the Lee will carry me this game, uh, this tower once again, so I can get some uh, money for the reward. Uh, you guys can see that uh, a lot of the things like um, f Awakening Weapons or like... Um, Awakening heroes and a lot of different things you need a lot of money. So it just really helps when There's you know more money. I uh, I had to you know spend some money uh, uh, some rubies in the past to um, What is it uh, purchase some golds because you know it's, you get you get short on the gold really fast So here it is Maybe I should have summoned another Lee, but I'm going to go ahead and then use it on the next one. So there's a Lee and Evan left. Um, I hope he doesn't keep use that because it remove, uh, removes the turn buff. Now Lee's going to just use it one more time on Ace. So um, this one is based on, you know, um, highest defense first. So... I'm assuming that Ace has highest defense in this case. And that's why also, you know, you got to use some other skill because uh, when his life is one and if I use another one, uh, what will happen is that he'll just do it on the same one again. So in order to prevent that from happening, um, I must uh, do it after it kills. I'm going to just go ahead and then... I'll uh, use it first so the cooldown is co uh, constantly you know keep going and then I'll summon another Lee good thing is you know like I said they have a hit immunities so you know it, it lasts really long which you know helps a lot in these places where you know they do so much so much damage so uh, he keeps using it on Lee which this I think that's one of the reason why this map is this tower level is a little bit harder than general because uh, removing buff just kills Lee because uh, he has you know turn buff based and it's just 
takes long. So luckily he killed it. So now this time it's gonna do with the Yi Jung. We gotta kill him as soon as possible. So I'll just go ahead and summon another one for the next round as well. And just go ahead and use uh, your top skill so that Yi Jung will die. And then um, I can just go ahead and use another one. Now Yi Jung killed one of my lead that just kind of ruins it. I still have you know one more round to go. So hopefully on an, uh, these guys can last up to the next round. You guys can see that Lee's buff is almost gone on the other ones. So make sure if you guys can't beat it, uh, try until you know at most you know 99 times so you guys can uh, get the uh, you know try it on the while they're on the weakest form so that you guys it's much easier when they are uh, like that so um, and the ace also removes you know buff with recent um, the tail and ace buff that they had I don't know if this ace uh, abilities apply that but hopefully not because it's really annoying and so I killed ace and let's go ahead and just reduce it because that's just annoying and hopefully hopefully I can beat this I have four more guys to go just use this hit everyone make sure that you know the Quanus buff doesn't apply. I'll just go ahead and do it one more time so that I can kill Pidam and my Lee doesn't use it on Pidam again. Next one is gonna do to Quanu. Hopefully, do it fast before uh, they try to remove the buff for them. And let's go ahead, come on, make the life into one. It's just very simple and repetitive but it's just um, requires you know make sure you have you know Lee and also um, you know a uh, timing for a lot of the guys so that you guys can just constantly use it without wasting the cooldown uh, the cooldown time so he's gonna use it to re uh, reduce the, the turn buff hopefully I can finish it before then okay I think I can um, go ahead and use the main same thing and regular hit and then dies so it took six minutes and 46 seconds so uh, usually as it go up higher and higher it usually takes this long but so finally I get 550,000 you know gold that's just really great uh, also you know right now they're doing the um, double the gold room so this is you know major major ways to for you to get gold really easily so Make sure you guys go ahead and try that out. Next one is a 500 rubies. So, you know, if I uh, get to uh, make another video and try this, I will. Um, until next time then, uh, see ya.